Assalamu alaikum. Today we are going to talk about a very important topic which is uh, the difference between the philosophical school of the Islamic philosophers uh, known as the Fukama or the Arafa and the Ashaira, the theologians, the scholastic theologians that include uh, the Ashaira, the Maturidiya and the Atharis. Uh, the topic of this video is their views on a divine simplicity and the relation between the divine essence and the attributes. As I have explained in a previous video, that the position of the Islamic philosophers is of divine simplicity, uh, which upholds that uh, the divine attributes are identical to the divine essence. Um, this position is known as uh, Sifatuhu Ainazati. On the other hand, we have the Ashaira and the Maturidiya and even the Atharis that hold the position that the divine attributes and the divine essence are distinct from one another. Uh, the Maturidis say that the divine attributes are neither identical to the essence nor absolutely different from it. Uh, it is called La Ainun Wala Ghairun. The Ashaira uphold the opinion as well as the Atharis that the divine attributes are distinct from the divine essence and they are distinct from each other as well. The philosophers present a plethora of arguments against uh, this claim that is made by the Asharis and the Maturidis and the Asaris. Uh, but one of the main arguments that is presented by the Islamic philosophers uh, is this, that if the divine attributes are not identical to the essence and if they are distinct from the essence and they are distinct from one another as well, then God has multiple real ontological aspects. And if God has multiple real ontological aspects, whatever has multiple real ontological aspects, that thing is a, is a composite. And every composite is contingent in itself. Every composite derives its reality from its parts, right? And uh, uh, everything that is composite cannot be called a necessity existence, right? But God, by definition, is a necessity existence. So, it is true by definition that God cannot have multiple ontological aspects. God cannot have multiple attributes. Uh, the argument that is presented for the necessary existence is also the same, right? Uh, either the attributes of God that are not identical to the essence, either they are necessary existence or they are contingent existence. If they are uh, contingent existence, right, then God becomes contingent, right? Because everything that has any mark of contingency in itself is contingent in itself and uh, if and if the attributes are all necessary then we have multiple necessity existence right because the all the attributes are distinct from one another and at the same time they are necessary as well so in both cases we run into a contradiction in one case we god becomes dependent and god becomes contingent in the other uh, case we affirm a plurality of necessary existence both of these uh, cases can be demonstrated by logic to be contradictions and to be absolutely impossible. Uh, therefore, the positions of the Islamic philosopher are the more coher most coherent position and they are established by reason as well as revelation. And these uh, conclusions are also supported by uh, the Sufis, the mystics, both from the Shia school and the Sunni school. The Islamic philosophers uphold the opinion that God is absolutely simple there is no multiplicity in God and there is no way in which God can be divided either physically or metaphysically. And everything about God, every attribute of God is identical to the essence of God, which we call the that. So the that and the sifat of God are identical to each other. This is what is meant by sifat huayin azati. And this is the opinion which, this is the only opinion which makes a logical sense. Because if the attributes are not identical to the essence, then they are distinct from the essence. And if they are distinct from the essence, then either God becomes composite or you have to uh, ascertain the existence of multiple necessary existence. Both of these uh, positions go against the dictates of reason. Hence, it follows from this that the divine essence and the divine attributes are identical to the existence uh, to, to, to God and these are identical to existence as well. And God is the reality of existence and the reality of existence has all the attributes that it can hold. So God has infinite attributes and all these attributes are identical to each other. If you like this video, please share and subscribe. Inshallah, we'll see you next video.